Jessica, APD had extra patrols out today in the Bosque looking for whoever was out here trying to spark fires. It paid off as an alert citizen and an officer teamed up to help catch a fire bug in the act. We could lose a lot. It's really not fair. It's not right, you know. Um, they're putting our houses, our homes in danger. Dixie Trujillo and Kyle Roberts have been on edge the last two days. Both have the bosque right behind their homes. This is where we live, and the last thing we want to see is the beauty of this bosque be burned down. Fire fears were high enough after firefighters had to move quickly to put out four small bosque blazes near Tingley Beach and Bridge yesterday. And then this afternoon, more smoke. Upon arrival and investigation, we did find that there were three separate spot fires within the Bosque. Crews were able to move quickly enough to contain and extinguish the trio of fires near Bridge Boulevard. Soon after, a lucky break further south. Uh, no subject was observed by both a civilian, a citizen, and one of our officers igniting two separate fires, utilizing a lighter. Um, he tried to leave the scene on a bicycle. But didn't get far. Open space officers arrested Audi Helms in this part of the Bosque near the Rio Bravo Bridge. Police say arson investigators are now looking into whether he started the other seven fires over the last two days. Whether he's responsible or not, yesterday's fires did help APD catch him. Because of what happened last night, uh, the open space uh, division decided to uh, assign officers to work uh, overtime and to patrol the areas along the, the Bosque. We were fortunate that we were able to actually observe him. Now, Helms has a very minimal criminal history, according to online court records. Police told us earlier today that he was not cooperating with detectives. Back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Alex. Helms faces up to four years in prison if he's convicted for those two fires. But if they pin the others on him, the prison time will increase.